is the Daily Weather Briefing for South Texas for Monday, August 4th, 2014. The service of the National Weather Service Forecast Office located in Corpus Christi. I'm meteorologist Rob Hart. Today's briefing will focus on primarily a quiet a week of weather across South Texas. We'll also take a look at the beach forecast for much of the week. And we'll wrap things up by taking a look at the tropics. First up, though, a map showing the morning dew points across the United States. Dew points across South Texas were actually relatively low for this time of year. Dew points were generally in the mid to upper 60s across South Texas, making it feel less humid outside this morning and much more tolerable. Today will be hot with the humidity still not quite as high as what we have had previous weeks. Afternoon highs will be in the mid to upper 90s across the coastal plains of Victoria region to around 100 degrees across the brush country and along the Rio Grande. Most areas will remain dry, however an isolated shower or even a thunderstorm will be possible today across primarily the Victoria Crossroads and the immediate coast. A drier air mass, at least in the mid and upper levels, will move into the area for the middle and latter half of the week. However, moisture in the lower levels will increase, so therefore an increase in humidity is expected throughout the week with a gradual increase in temperatures. Heat indices between 105 and 110 degrees will be likely each day f for the middle and latter half of the week. Otherwise, partly to mostly sunny skies during the day and only an isolated shower during the afternoon across th or along the sea breeze. And overall, this week will remain dry. If you're heading to the beach this week, weather should be nice, partly to mostly sunny skies through the week. Again, humid along the immediate coast. Afternoon highs each day will be around 90, and a nice breeze will develop by midday and through each afternoon. Southeast winds around 15 to 20 miles per hour. Look at the tropics. The Gulf of Mexico satellite imagery from this morning shows an area of thunderstorms across the lower keys of Florida. But overall, conditions are dry, and no tropical cyclone development is expected in the Gulf of Mexico in the foreseeable future. There is some activity in the tropics, however. Tropical Storm Bertha was exiting the Bahamas early this morning. Conditions as of 5 a.m. had wind speeds around 70 miles an hour. Bermuda or Bertha will not pose any impacts, at least hurricane-wise, to the United States, though it could increase some rip current risks across the Carolinas late in the week. But again, Impacts to the United States will remain minimal, and no other tropical cyclone formation is expected in the Atlantic Basin over the next five days. That's going to do it for today's weather briefing. Don't forget, for the very latest weather information, check out our website at weather.gov slash Christi.